Arlington, Texas, located directly between Dallas and Fort Worth, it is the unofficial heart of DFW and North Texas. Arlington is the home of the Cowboys Stadium and the ballpark in Arlington. But is it also home to the paranormal? With a quick internet search, you may find that many North Texas residents believe just that. Many popular hotspots include the UTA Infant Cemetery, the candy store at Six Flags, the site of the infamous Arlington Roadhouse, and the River Legacy Park. One place you won't find on any list is the Arlington Visitor Center, located directly across the street from the ballpark in Arlington. We were contacted by staff and asked to investigate possible paranormal activity taking place in the building. With several eyewitness statements and the opportunity to be the first investigators to check the place out, we couldn't pass up the chance. What is the history of this building? Um, this building is actually um, on land that's owned by the Texas Rangers, and before that it was Arlington Downs, which was a horse track that encouraged gambling and debauchery um, in a time where it was pretty looked down upon, especially in this area in the Bible Belt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, can you give me any kind of, what personal experiences have you had to in this building? Well, especially when I'm alone or when there's not that many people here, I always feel creepy, but um, the most um, nerve-wracking one that I've ever had was um, during a weekend when um, I was here working for an event we had the next day, and my co-worker had left and our volunteers downstairs had left, so I was completely alone in the building. Um, I heard, um, at the time, my, my uh, cube was situated a different way, and I didn't have any, I couldn't see if anybody was coming you know, I could only see if someone was coming from my right side. So um, I heard, starting from the kitchen, someone walking um, at like a like a pay, at a certain pace um, all the way around to my cubicle, to the end of the uh, facade that I couldn't see anything, and then it just stopped. And like whenever I noticed, it was like in a like I, I heard something. And I was like, I'm just. I heard. Oh yeah. Before that, I heard kind of like a like someone had just like. Kind of just stopped. Planted both their feet down. Yeah, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and so it was like walking all the way to my office, and I was like, I was, I was drained. Like, I was like, I can't really move. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Is this happening? Like, ah. <laughs> cool. So, like, yeah, I just like, and I couldn't really move until like I got my wits about me, and I just like, I left my computer on and I left. Nikki's story is only one account of many who have heard strange noises in the building after hours. One story in particular was of a co-worker who had come back late one night to retrieve a file. When she reached her desk, she realized that she could hear the sounds of what she described as a loud board meeting going on behind the closed doors of the conference room. Peering into the window, she could see the lights were off and the room was pitch black. Terrified, she left the building as fast as she could. For us, strange sounds are common. What we were really interested in was the stories of poltergeist activity. Something that more than one person experienced at the office, um, especially the women, is whenever the um, 
bathroom door closed by itself. Um, see, we have cameras that face the bathroom, and one time, like, we kind of always fight over who goes in and who goes out, and we're just like, oh, who's in there? Like, it's kind of, you know, uh, a game, and we kind of make fun of each other. But um, one time it was locked, and we couldn't, it was locked for a while, and we couldn't figure out who it was, and Erin had looked, she had sped up the, the cameras and looked, and there was nobody. Everyone was accounted for, and it just unlocked by itself. And um, it, that was really creepy to every, every woman, at least. Like, the men, nothing really happens to them, so they're like... So you think it's just something that messes with the women in the office? I think so, yeah. Yeah, because that lock is a deadbolt, so it yeah. had to have been somebody in there. Yeah. Like, so that's... Yeah, it was scary. You could, like, we were pushing on it, and um, another thing is my boss is often here, or before I was here, my boss was here late, um, and she had, um, like, just been working by herself when all the lights were off, and she said that... Um, she heard the back door open and then slam, and it like slammed so hard that it like shook the walls and like she could shake, it like shook the windows. Um, and she just got her stuff and ran out. So me and Donald are going to go down into the basement where I figured out I can turn the lights off and as soon as I did I heard a noise in the back and that's why I ran back up here real quick and I'm like nope I'm not just going to stay down here without a camera. I was checking to see if like so they hear a door upstairs slamming it could be this if somebody's down here these doors can slam. So if there's somebody else in the building, they don't know about it. Yeah. I'll turn. Oh, this is great. So as soon as I turned off the light, I was like, how creepy is this? And I just heard, boom, like over here. And I think I already know what it was. I think that's the air conditioner. Oh, there it is, okay. I can definitely hear some of the noise from outside still. That door goes straight out into the driveway. Break room or something set up there. interesting
dark and I asked it to scare me it shut off the camera immediately and then when I got trying to find you in the stairwell I got it back on and it said would you like to recover the movie and I had to but yes but I don't know if it saved it or not and I don't know what happened it just shut off the battery is full and that will only turn on I literally almost pooped my pants I can't get the uh, night vision back on All right, so I'm taking Nikki to her cubicle where she heard the footsteps, and we're gonna try to recreate that, see if we can't figure out, um, maybe if it's just something that can be easily explained. Um, so, here we go. All right, and then Lauren, the other chick is here, is our walker. All right, and so we're gonna have her recreate it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So at the time, my see, I don't even. Is that you what? Feel like the vibrations around, the, around. So they'd have to be stomping pretty hard. Yeah, and you could feel it like at different points of your body around the floor. <laughs> All right, and then it stopped right there, right? It stopped yeah. like right. At that, where that glass is? Yeah. Okay. And I was just like, I was like completely drained of my energy and was like, I couldn't move. I was like, <laughs> okay. Shrilling. And yeah. there was like no one there. No. My last coworker had left and it was like, uh, the volunteers had already gone. So I was the only car in the parking lot and then no one was there. Okay, so the conclusion is basically that it had to, if it was a person, A, they'd have to be stomping pretty hard. Cause you were, you sounded like you were just, you yeah. were stomping well, and I have uh, sandals. sandals on, so it sounds a bit different. Yeah, you cause like the, or yeah, cause you heard like boots, correct? Yes, I believe they were boots. They had to be something heavy. Okay. So, and so whenever you peeked over, there was nothing. No, like it stopped and then I was like, like whenever I got my wits about me, I kind of went like, you know, like what you're not supposed to do. All right. So... Let's get started. Okay, uh, this is Allie and Nikki and Lauren, and we are at Nikki's cubicle where she heard the footsteps. Um, so I guess we'll get started with EVP. So. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Who are you? Are you even human? What happened to you? If you are here, uh, could you give us a sign? Maybe touch one of us, stomp, make a sound. Okay, um, well, then we are going to stop asking questions now. All right. Yeah. I asked it to scare me, and my camera shut off, and then it did all the footage. No. -uh. It said, movie recovery, yes or no? I pushed yes. When did this happen? Just a few minutes ago, so I came out of the bathroom to get bread. 
find him then. He's downstairs because he got freaked out downstairs. Yeah. yeah. I said, I'm a girl and you like to scare girls, so I want to scare me because I'm going to shut off. And then when I turned it back on, it said, Would you like to recover the movie? Yes or no? So I clicked yes, so hopefully it did. But, uh, so, uh, so Kristen made whatever make the movie go away, <laughs> and now oh Nikki gosh. and Laura are scared. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing, and I'll the later, but, but, uh, Where are the men? We need protection. <laughs> yeah, we need. Where do they go? Because that's why it's because we're by ourselves. Guys. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say it's because the women are by themselves. Uh, you know what? That is a good theory. Like, all the men are downstairs. Holy cow, this is a basement. <laughs> So we are down in the basement with everyone else. <laughs> so everybody came down to the school. It's because, it's because all of the guys are were down here. The girls are by ourselves. Yes. Did you tell them about losing footage? Well, I don't know if it's lost or not. Hopefully it isn't. It said, would you like to recover? And I clicked yes. Hey. It likes to follow the girls. Hey, I'll call you later. Um, I'll text you. Am I the uh, does it just shut off its phone? Okay, so I haven't either. I said, would you like to scare me because I'm a girl and off. It made a weird clicky noise and just went off. So Kristen has the camera and the uh oh my gosh. Sarah, what's her name? Uh, gonna oh be God. upstairs and walk out and be like, "Where the?" And she has everybody? the thermal. <laughs> oh, she. Everybody just disappeared. <laughs> oh my gosh! Should I go upstairs to be like Sarah? She did tell me to retrieve her when I was done, but I didn't expect anything to happen. In the I can, <laughs> I can go with you if you want me to. <laughs> just go grab her. I'm gonna get my Let's camera. Yeah, go grab yeah, her. Go grab her. All right. Yeah. <laughs> she was literally in there for like two minutes. I heard a few really loud bangs in the boardroom and uh I can't do this. Uh, I don't know. I can do this. Do this. But it, I wasn't making any noise. Oh I thought you heard weird noise in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I heard that. Oh, my heart. <laughs> well the things I was trying to figure out if someone was walking through here shutting doors because that's almost what it sounds like in there. Mm -hmm. And if I lean on the wall at all, it creaks like crazy. So can we reconvene? Can we all sit down? <laughs> What's down there? What did I miss? The basement. basement. I want to see. I'll go by Wait, no. <laughs> did Kristen not tell you what she heard? Yeah, no, don't, don't, no, no, hold on. Oh, okay. You, you and Kristen go. Kristen. I want to see Sarah's face. Do you want to take the live stream down to the creepy basement? Oh, yeah, you live stream to the basement? Yeah, live stream to the basement. Uh, you want to let me go in for like a few minutes by myself and you can follow? Sure. <laughs> Where door am I going through? Just that one. Yeah, don't, don't tell me what you heard. This one? Yeah, no. <laughs> well, okay, so I hear the bang down here. Maybe it's pipes. 
Or is that you? Ghost man. This doesn't even look like it goes under the boardroom. So why are all my friends bugged out? So why are all my friends bugged out? Huh. Tis my shadow. Oh, good God. <laughs> that was a chair. I'm just bugging out. So I'm gonna stand here and try to be real quiet. Do you want to repeat whatever happened in here? I wonder if these vents are what's causing the banging noise upstairs. Or maybe this door they were going in and out of. That's a little comfortable down here. I just backed into a chair and scared the crap out of myself. Good. We should probably reconvene, because I'm scared. I don't know what just barked at me, but I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Was it in the bathroom? Yes. Oh, I want to go in the bathroom. <laughs> I get next to these. It depends on if all the camera footage was erased or not. Or would it be? I'll tell you. I believe they're reconvening in the big area in the front. I definitely want to go in the bathroom. Yeah. I'm not used to this camera or this thermal thing at all. Technical malfunction. I was uh, in the bathroom. 
left them with the lights off, and I told it, you like to scare girls, why don't you scare me? And when I said that, the camera made a lot of clicking noise and just went off. And I was like, oh crap, I should go find Brad and figure out how to get this back on. And I go to the stairwell, and I turn it back on, it's like, would you like to recover the film? <laughs> yes! <laughs> so hopefully it hasn't been deleted. <laughs> And I don't know why the camera just decided to shut off, but... Was it still on in there? I could go... Oh, no, I gave it... I could give it a look-see. Go, yo. What happened when you were in the boardroom? I was hearing banging, but I think it might have been when y'all were going in and out of the basement, but we'll have to line it up with the footage and see. Yeah. yeah. But it's pretty creepy. Are you not... Do you not want to see the live stream to the oh, bathroom? The bathroom? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, like, I figured that one would be harder to shut off. I don't know. <laughs> I did back into a chair in the basement and scare the crap out of myself on the live stream, so. Okay. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Where in the bathroom? Like in the stall or just anywhere? Oh. There's a couch. Well, it's definitely clicky in here. Let's see. God, that's loud. Is there anything in here that would like to talk to me? Oh, just a little sidebar on the information. Um. Y'all can see because of the light on this, but I can't see. The light doesn't show up to me. It only shows up on the camera. So, except for this little screen, it's pitch black in here. So, did you turn the camera off on Kristen? So the question she had asked was, so you like messing with girls? If you like messing with girls, I'm a girl. Wanna flip the camera off or? You know, something ghosty. You could swing open that bathroom door right there. I can hear them out there laughing. Why would you want to pick on women? Now go back in there and see if something happens. <laughs> go back in there and see if something happens now that you're scared. I hope that hurt. We spend half our time doing this mess with each other. <laughs> I hope that hurt. <sighs> Side note, Brad's dick.
So is that, that what you like to do? Do you like to bang on doors and scare chicks? Apparently boys find that hilarious. Uh, I didn't. I just went in there and grabbed you. Would you like to walk through the basement? Oh, can I do that? I'll go walk in it. Go walk through the, in the, the back rooms. Like, it's creepy because you almost don't want to round the corner because you're worried, like, what's going to be in the room. I'll be in the basement. Are you going to have a basement? Yeah. Are you going to look? Yeah. Oh, I got this. So we have some people watching our live stream, so we're going to try one more EVP session in here. Are you looking for anyone? Is there somebody you want to contact? What is your name? Are you alone? How many of us are here? The ladies say they hear uh, some noises in this room sometimes from the other side of the door. Are you moving stuff around in here? Can you move something or touch one of us? Throw something. That was... <laughs> There's a little bit of traffic noise out there too. All right, let's stop this. See if uh... there was anything. All right. Hello, Kevin. So we have some people watching our live Kevin, stream. Hello. So we're gonna try one more EVP session in here. Are you looking for anyone? Is there somebody you want to contact? Hear that? No. What will happen? Here, put this near here. How many of us are here? Um, I hit yeah. start. How do I go back to the beginning of that file? Very bright. Oh. Ah, it's bright. <laughs> no, I thought I heard something on the. Uh... On the your name. Mm -hmm. So we have some people watching our live stream. So we're gonna try. One more EVP session in here. Are you looking for anyone? Is there somebody you want to contact? What is your name? Are you alone? So we have some people watching our live stream. So, so we have some. You hear at the very beginning. So we have. Some... Are we all whispering to each other? No, not at that point. No. I don't freak. So we have some people watching. It says Sarah. It did say Sarah. So. Fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> so we have. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that, but at the very beginning, before we start asking any questions, none of us were, we might need to rewind, uh, you can't watch the, you can't go back in the live feed while we're streaming, but we can double check that, because Sarah was, or, uh, Allie here was filming us so we can see if any of us were talking, I don't think we were, I think I was the only one talking. Actually, no, I think at the beginning of that, Sarah was filming, Sarah was in the room, No. or is that, no, 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 no we were here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was we thinking at the very beginning. Here. Okay, I was thinking at the very beginning. Well, listen to the very beginning. Like, as soon as I hit play before I start talking in the recording, it sounds like something says Sarah. 
So we have some people watching our live stream, so we're going to try one more EVP session in here. That was Don who left. Are you looking for anyone? Is there somebody you want to contact? Body. You don't know if it's male or Some female. body without a body. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So how y'all feel about that? Yeah, um, let's do it. <laughs> well, well like, we just got really, really close, close together. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> it only happens. I mean, I mean, Bradley's here, but like it usually only happens whenever we're alone and it's at night. Or I mean, my experience was during the day, but it's usually when we're alone. So like being with a group of people that can actually that can witness this, that can witness this, makes us feel like we're not crazy. So it's like, I'm like, did anybody mess with the chair down there? By the way. Um, Sarah, uh, Sarah left. sat in it. Okay. Yeah. Um, because I was very specific about making sure all the chairs were pushed in. Uh, Tracy Snyder said that it sounded like a woman to her um, on the live feed. So, yeah, we got a lot of comments after that particular feed. Like everybody's like, I heard it. Um. Okay. So I want to ask y'all, how do you do? You feel better or worse after having done that? After that. Well, I'm not so scared where I need to run out of the building. Yeah, but I also, I, I don't want to lie, and I do kind of feel worse, and now I'm like, I don't really want to be here alone at all. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Why do you think it would say Sarah? Because we had, we have somebody with us named Sarah that was in here earlier, but is there anybody that works here, na- like, or that used to work here named Sarah? Is there, there's not a volunteer name. Because I, I don't want to automatically associate that with our Sarah. Yeah. Um, it very well could be that, but I'm just yeah. Considering she was the first one to talk to, it and for some reason, and Sarah like, is the one that said right. she heard something earlier. Yeah. So maybe you and things wanting to communicate with and her. everything keeps wanting to say her name. Like every time we've done anything, they always say her name. Almost always. Well, she she's a, okay. So her title in our group is she's EVP her. technician. That's specifically like her job in our group. She she does this. She's the expert mm-hmm. in doing EVPs. So typically, like, when we run into something that's wanting to communicate, it'll typically talk to her because she's more willing to do it. She'll go to places on her own yeah. with just a recorder without a camera or anything else and just do yeah. that. Like, notice so, she was the first one to want to go into the basement by herself. Yeah. Like, that's what she does. So, um, like, we're not going to tell, like, don't tell Sarah what we think that they're saying. Mm-hmm. Like, what we think that that whatever said and let her listen to it and see the paradelia experiment like we were yeah. talking about yeah earlier. and see what she thinks she hears see i like them they listen to me when i explain <laughs> science things where everybody else goes you find a goat all right let me go find her i'll bring her in here okay yeah. oh so we're gonna need a live reaction no. so everybody on the internet thinks they know what it says yeah and well let's see what you think y'all room. know what it says i'm literally like half that oh no you'll be able to hear it so, as soon as I hit play, you'll hear something before I start talking. Wait, will you have her face us in the camera? So just play? Yeah, but it's... I just want to see it's her It's in a weird face. spot. Live stream, so we're going to try... Uh. <laughs> so, we have some... <laughs> it's not like my name. Yeah, yeah that's Why what... Is this F- the one we always do? <laughs> <laughs> Time. <laughs>